bringing the people behind our food to life. The politics of food and the food of politics, it's really kind of new. It feels really new, is it? Yeah, I think it is really new. It's interesting when I have uh, gone to conferences about food and politics, and I'm kind of new to this too, and I think, you know, I'm going to go and I'm going to kind of really get what the answer is. And you go and you'll sit in on one of these conference roundtables and you realize it's new for everybody and no one really has the answers yet. It's really the a, a new thing that people have begun to question uh, how we get our food, how we grow our food, and the whole food system. So it, it is kind of a burgeoning movement and it is very new in regard to taking a look at the interplay of politics and food and how they both affect each other. What is a food council? Well, food policy councils are a group of citizens who have different levels of expertise or different expertise in a lot of different aspects of the food system. So you have farmers and processors, you might have land use attorneys who are interested in um, different zoning in regard to how we can grow our food and where we can grow our food. You might have nutritionists, folks involved with food banks. So all the different aspects aspects of the food system can kind of come in and they can talk cross discipline about all the different areas that food affects the community and a food affects our lives. At the policy council meetings it's the movers and shakers among the food and producers and, and the rest of it but there's also basic citizens that are involved too. Who are they and why is that? When the Food Policy Council was established, it was established like other food policy councils across the country in that it really sought to bring individuals that were intimately involved with some segment of the system, the food system, sustainable food system, together. And I think that's served well. You need to have, it's, it's served, you know, the work that they have done well, but you need to have buy-in from so many other different groups as well. So I think we've been very successful of opening up the council that all of these different committees that we have, we really invite anybody out there to come to the committee meetings because that's really where the bulk of the work is done. That's where all the heated discussions happen and that's where the, the individual policy directives are written and then of course they bring them back to the full council to get voted on but because they came out of the committee where the expertise should be it's pretty much you know fait accompli when they get back to council so that's really a great place for individual citizens to have their input and also they can come to food policy council meetings as well and it's really a free and open discussion so you have an input you know uh, uh, the ability to, to input on, on both levels why is it important why is it important to have a food policy council? I think that it is very important because all of these disparate groups are working on different food policy issues. And this serves as a catalyst to bring a lot of different groups together to work on issues, overarching issues, that really affect all of these individual issues. So I think that that's one reason, is that obviously there's strength in numbers. And if you have an organization that is has um, cachet and actually has some credibility and an official function because it's made official by a government, then obviously that lends credibility and, and, and credence to the kind of work that they do. Also, I think it's important because it really is a new movement. If you look at planners in a city environment, for years these guys have planned for transportation, they plan for open space, they plan for where housing is going to be, but no one has really ever thought about food and how food fits into that equation. And that's something that's very new. So I think this idea of a food policy council really keeps the idea of food out there on the table. It raises the perception and the profile of food within the community and it gives all of these other folks who are really um, involved in issues that directly, directly influence where we can grow our food, how we can grow our food, how that food is distributed, how folks are going to be able to get their food, th those kinds of things, it really does make a difference. Another thing that I hear across the country that food policy councils have to wrestle with is this issue of policy versus programs. And 
It's interesting because I think programs are so much more easily understood by community members. It's like, well, we're going to do this and we're going to go out and we're going to make this happen. And policy isn't something that a lot of individuals deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. The problem with projects is, to a great extent, that individuals might not have the time to really see those projects through, so they languish. There are food policy councils across the country that are doing great work and great project work. But at least in our case, we're lucky that we do have staff. So we bring together a group of people that does have a wide range of expertise in the sustainable food systems, and we have them kind of come up with policy recommendations for the elected officials. A lot of times that gets translated to programs, but then we have also, we have staff that can then bring those programs to fruition as well. So we really have the ability, I think, to make some significant strides in regard to establishing some of this um, sustainable food system policy and programs. And, and to do it at the foundation level, rather, I mean, because in, in a sense, Programs are transitory. They they they're established. They come and they go. But setting policy is something that's going to establish things for the years to come. Yeah, programs can come and go, and I think setting policy and institutionalizing the kinds of changes that we want to see is really paramount. You know, be able to take some of the things that we've talked about and put them into legislation, which really can make a difference in people's lives. That's what we're all trying to do.